So now that we've got our wheel and hub built, we're gonna wanna detail this a little bit and make sure that we're happy with everything that's going on in here. And as of now, everything is individual pieces, so it makes it easy to edit. And the first thing I wanna do is knock a little bit of this sharpness off this hub. Right now, I don't like sharp edges for CAD models. And the reason I don't like that is because they don't render well. When you have an exact 90 degree edge in something, it makes for a very fake looking render because nothing in real life actually has perfect 90 degree edges on it. So let's go ahead and just throw some fillets on that. And I'm just gonna do this simply with the fillet tool. And I'm gonna make very small fillets. Again, this thing is only five inches long. So I'm gonna do something to the effect of 0.01. Maybe I'm gonna add that there as well. And you'll notice that even at 0.01, my preview shows that this is going to be fairly big. So let's use the set all command and make that 0.005. Let's run that and see what we get. Woo, went way big. So let's redo it. And in this case, something in that fillet setting is causing that to fail. So let's take a look at what we've got. Let's try them one at a time. So that one, for some reason, is not working. That one, for some reason, is not working. Why do you think that is? Well, the reason for that is the fillet at 0.005 is smaller than our tolerance. Okay, remember how I said I like making mistakes because when I make them, you don't have to? This is a situation where I have asked Rhino to do something smaller than my absolute file tolerance. So it becomes pretty apparent pretty quickly that this tolerance is too big. So I'm going to add another zero and say, okay. Now, I know you're watching this going, oh my God, you just changed the file tolerance in the middle of a model. What are you crazy? Um, the short answer is yes. You don't necessarily want to do that, but since I'm not far into this model, since nothing is trimmed and nothing is joined, I can go ahead and change the file tolerance at this point because it became apparent that it's not a problem. Tightening the tolerance in a model is not necessarily a problem because all it's going to do is screw down everything tighter. Loosening the tolerance in a model, by the way, is not necessarily something you want to do because that will start causing trims to fail, that will start causing surfaces to pull apart, and you'll be in a situation where you'll have to go back and do significant repair in your model. So if you make a poor choice like I did when I set this up to have your tolerance be too loose, you can tighten it and not have a problem. So let's try that fillet again and see if this actually fixes it, which it does. Let's add the fillet there. And you'll see now that we've adjusted our tolerance, our fillet is within file tolerance and we get a nice fillet there. So let's run through this a little bit more. Again, there's a sharp edge here. I don't want that. I want a little bit bigger one here. So I'm gonna use 0.1. I'm okay with that. That is too big. And I don't know exactly what number I wanna use. So I'm gonna click the handle. I'm gonna drag it until it feels right. Again, I talk a lot about feel and how things feel and look. And a lot of that will just come down to you as a designer. So let's go add some more fillets. Point one is gonna be huge here, so I'm gonna crank this down. Let's take a look. I'm okay with that. Now, my lug nuts here, when I put that fillet in, are too close to the edge. So I'm gonna scale the parent object Everybody else is going to update. I'm going to go to my front view. I'm going to drag this in a little bit. Everybody else is going to update. Super cool feature of history there. Let's you design. We're trying to design, not be CAD monkeys. All right, let's knock the edge off of this, and they're going to be small. So we'll do 0.003. And let's add one here as well. And I'm going to set all 0 0.01. Let's take a look at the preview and make sure that makes sense. Looks like that's going to be good. Now, starting to come together, let's shade it. 
and just take a look and see where we're at. That looks that looks pretty good. I'm okay with that. I think maybe the spoke needs a little bit more massaging, but for the most part, the stuff is starting to look good. This is a good place to stop. We'll continue in the next lesson.